Baker here with So Indipitous. I just wanted to do a really quick follow-up video that you probably already aware of the collection by Moda or put out by Moda that Stacy designed and I'm not even going to try her last name but you can get the information in the links below. Anyway a couple of weeks ago Steve done a video in regards to the collection as a whole and he discussed all of the beautiful prints in this collection and like I said it's ghouls and goodies. Anyway, in that video, um, if I remember correctly, he really did not discuss the panel that comes with this collection, and that's because I told him I really wanted to do that. So, this panel that comes with this collection is super, super cute, very easy, not time consuming at all. Um, this is my first year with my grandbaby um, that is about to turn two. So last year he was one. He really didn't understand Halloween, obviously. Um, so this year I was so super excited about Halloween. And so when this panel came in, I was like, oh great, this is something I can make for him and he can use year after year with his Halloween decorations or as we know, kids don't um, think about the holidays. They keep if they love it they keep it out all year round so i'm pretty sure the things that i made out of this panel um, my little grandson carter will probably want to keep um going on into thanksgiving but anyway so the panel like i said is from ghouls and goodies and hopefully you can see that so in this panel like most panels when they have cute little things we're going to make it's just a pattern and you have all of these shapes and things that you will cut out. The cool thing in this pattern um, is you do have a section for each of your directions in regards to what you do with each piece. Um, they are very super easy to follow. I don't do a lot of sewing outside of quilting. So for me to have to put something together um, even if it's as simple as this, I feel intimidated, but I can honestly tell you Stacy did an amazing job. Very super, super easy, 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 easy. So anyway, in this panel, what you will get is this adorable um, lantern goodies basket. Now I will tell you, it's lined and as you can see, we already got some treats. I think we had some more, but maybe some ghouls and um, monsters and witches got into it already but um, in her instructions I will tell you something that I altered I am NOT saying that you should do this I'm saying it is what I chose to do and I love the outcome so in her instructions <coughs> excuse me she was saying that you take um, heavy interfacing if I remember yeah, it was a single-sided, heavy weight infusible interfacing for this portion, the portion that has the jack-o'-lantern and stuff on it. And then, of course, the lining, there was no interfacing or maybe a lightweight, featherweight. I can't remember. But anyway, I chose to upgrade this to a one-sided infusible foam. I wanted to be able to really load this down with candy and when I hold the straps it was still able to maintain the bottom of um, the basket and the shape and I cannot be more pleased with how this came out. Now I did not have to alter anything else, I still did everything on the quarter inch like we typically do. Everything still you know, fit fine. Now I will tell you. Um, as you can see, there's, you know, some wrinkles and that kind of stuff, but that's been from a lot of love the past week or two since it's been made. You can iron those, those come, you know, right back out, but I'm pretty sure probably even with the, the interfacing, you would have the same, you know, situation. Now, one thing that I did not do is I probably should have went back with my iron and really ironed those in a little more 
Now the pattern does not call for a top stitch, but I might would even be inclined to do that. But I was so super excited about it. I didn't want to waste any more time on it. I wanted to fill it with candy um, and enjoy it. So this here, I must say, since they will not be doing trick or treat this year, and like I said, my oldest grandson is just about to turn two, he probably will not get this for this Halloween. It will stay within my home and, you know, use it as a goodie bag, um, needless to say. But Endurable will last for years to years to come. So the other cool thing in this pattern is you've got your spooky black cat for Halloween. So simple to make. I mean, like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, stuffed it up. Of course, I whip stitched, you know, the bottom. So this was really cool. I um, got to FaceTime him. He does not live locally, but I got to FaceTime him and show him his spooky cat that's going to be coming his way for Halloween. And his little face just lit up on the phone camera. So that was super exciting. If I had it to do over, I probably would have done some pre-embroidery on this. Maybe the year, of course, maybe Love You for Meemaw, or maybe even um, his name. But super, super cute. So I'm pretty sure this will probably end up in bed with him and he'll be sleeping with it. I can't wait to see what he names his spooky cat. The other thing that's in this panel is... And I know I'm talking fast. I just get so excited. So I apologize. But any of you that know me know that I'm a fast talker anyway, and especially when I'm excited. And this is one of the first panels in a long time I can honestly say I am so excited about. And I'm pretty sure that comes, like I said, because I have grandbabies now. Anyway, I have to... My oldest one is turning two, and the youngest one um, is not one yet. He'll be one at the end of this year, first part of next year. But I love that there was two bats. So, once again, super easy to make. You just whip stitch them once you stuff them. The only parts that had interfacing in them is the wings, just to give them a little more body. But other than that, super, super easy to make. I'm sure you have the supplies on hand is my point. Now, once again, prior to really stitching these up, I wished I had thought, and on the back wing, I would have loved to embroidered their name. So I would have had a Carter and a Lincoln. Um, those are my only regrets with these. Now, they will obviously get these, and I'm sure from year to year, once again, these will be pulled out and put out for decorations, um, assuming they don't fall in love with it and ends up in the toy box. Um, but the cool thing is, buy numerous of these panels is my point. Um, if you want to decorate with these bats, it would be so easy to put a string and literally hang them wherever you want. If you were having a Halloween party or, gosh, the, the options are endless. I'm not even going to sit here and go into them because you all are very creative people. And I know you will come up with lots of uses. So if you want some homemade Halloween um, goodies around the house, this panel really, really gives it to you. Now, that's not the end. That is not the end. Those are the items in which um, the panel is, like I said, designed for, is the trick-or-treat basket, and then your spooky black cat, and then your two bats. But she's went a step further, and I love Stacy for this. So I'm going to hold it up here, and hopefully you can see it. So there's a strip that runs the entire parameter of your panel. Now, I have not done anything with my strip yet, but as you can see, this is the end result of my panel. The cool thing is that strip says... Good to eat, give me something, give me something good to eat, sorry. Um, smell my feet, trick or treat, and of course it goes that way. Now, what I'm going to do with mine, and like I said, the possibilities are endless. So since I am not making a Halloween quilt with any of this, I really want to do trick or treat bags. Now, because they will not be going trick or treat this year, and they're really not old enough to understand trick-or-treat bags and that kind of thing. I am going to save mine, and so sometime between now and next Halloween, I'm going to take my strips, and they will be like a 
ribbon, if you will, across the top of their Halloween bags. And of course, I'll personalize their bags. But I was so super excited because when we were kids, me and Steve, um, it was popular for the whole trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. So to know that my grandbabies are going to be exposed to that little saying, um, it was pretty happy uh, moment to say the least. But along with the words, you have a jack-o'-lantern basket, just like we have here. We've got the bats and oh, the spider, the ooky spooky spider. So that's kind of cool. You could literally take this, you could trim out in your quilts with it. Um, you could put it on clothing. There is so much to do. Now, I'm not gonna go over um, any of the prints in the collection because like I said, there's already a video that Steve done really talking about the prints and all the spooky things in it. Absolutely love it. We do not have too much left, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want it, definitely check the link below. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, I apologize for talking fast. Just super excited about this panel. And um, I just really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time out to, like I said, watch our videos or shop in our Sewendipitous shop. And remember, Sewendipitous is what? That's right. The unexpected happiness that you find in every stitch. Bye, guys. Have a great Halloween.